Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about electrical network transfer function. No? So, um, in our study of control systems, we need to get it uh, the transfer function of electrical network. So, of course, electrical network will consist of the uh, three main com uh, electrical components. So, we will have the uh, resistance, the inductance, and the capacitance, and each of these of the, each of those has its own uh, relationship with current, voltage, and the other um, uh, co uh, the other uh, quantities on an electrical circuit. No, so here we just first create a table. No, in order for us to have a guide in getting the transfer function of an of any component, no electrical component. So first we will write here the component. Then we have the voltage current relationship, no? Voltage current. Then we will have the current voltage. Then we will have the voltage to charge, no? Voltage to charge. And last one, we will have the impedance, no? Impedance. Or we could have that one as a Z of S. And last, we will have the admittance. Okay, admittance. Which is um, Y of S. No? Okay. So the first component will be the capacitor. No? The capacitor. So we could write here the symbol of our capacitor. No? Then the voltage to, from voltage current relationship. So for the capacitor, okay. for the capacitor that will be V of T. So our voltage here will be in terms of time, no? This, this will be one over C, the integral of I uh, tau, no? I tau dt. So our so our um, I is in terms of the period. Then we have the dt as the limits is from uh, one to uh, zero to one. Okay, so that will be the voltage current relationship for our capacitor. Then we will have the current voltage. So we will have I of T is equal to. So we will have here in terms of voltage. No, uh, we will uh, we will try to get our um, capacitor current in terms of voltage. So that will be. C times the first derivative. Okay. Let's just erase this one first. No, that is the first derivative. The first derivative of our uh, diode of our diode capacitor voltage or the voltage in terms of time. No? Okay. So because in a DC circuit or in a steady state circuit, so C times V is equal to current. No? Or the charge times the voltage is equal to the current. Then the voltage charge, so we we'll just have it one the voltage V of T is equal to the capacitance, so one over C times Q times T. No? So for this one we have the capacitance as the voltage which will be equal to current. For this one, so the voltage is equal to the the reciprocal of the capacitance capacitance times the charge. For the C of S or the impedance, so that will be 1 over Cs. And for the admittance, so ad admittance is the reciprocal of our, of our impedance, so that will be Cs no? or C times S. Next, we will have the, let me just write here first the, um, this one, no? the, the symbol, the level of symbol is capacitor. Next, we will go to the resistor. Okay, so resistor. Now, for the resistor, the voltage current, of course, very basic, Ohm's law. So, voltage equals to R times I, no? So, V of T is equal to R times I of T, okay? For the current voltage, so, again, Ohm's law. So, I of T is equal to V of T over R. For the current charge, so we know that um, current, no. So we know that uh, current is the is the change in charge per unit time. So we could say that current is the first derivative of charge. So just write here V of t, that is R 
Then you have here the current. So if we want to convert this one into charge, so we just get the first derivative of our charge. No? And for the impedance, so that will just be R. And for the admittance, so that will be equal to 1 over R or equal to G, which is the conductance. Okay, now we will go to inductor. No? Inductor. Okay. Inductor. Okay, so for the inductor, so the voltage to current is equal to the inductance times the uh, change in current per unit time, no? or the first derivative of our current, or the instantaneous current. No? So some of them will call this an instantaneous current. For the I, or for the voltage, so V of T, no? if I want to solve for the V of, of the current, so for that, it's not the current, but the current. No? Uh, where is that eraser here? Okay. For the current, it will be I of T. So I of T will be equal to, so we just uh, transfer this one to the other part of the equation, so that will be 1 over L times the V of T. So what is the inverse of our uh, integral? So that will be, uh, that will be differential, no? And the, the, the reverse of our differential is will be an integral, no? Just have this one first. Okay. So that will be the integral of our voltage, which is in terms of the period times the period itself with limits from 1 to 0. No? So this one is not T, no? so, but this will be also in terms of the period. Okay. Then we will go to our um, volt uh, voltage to T charge no so that is v of t so we have here l times our change first derivative of the current or change in the current per unit time then we know that charge is also uh, current is the first derivative of our charge so if you are going to have this one in terms of charge so we just have the second derivative of our charge in terms of time for our impedance so that will be ls and for our admittance, that will be 1 over Ls. No? So the usefulness of this one is that we could express now our circuit in terms of T and in terms of time. So by doing, by doing so, we could have a differential equation in which we could get the transfer function. No? So to appreciate the idea, so we will have a simple example, no? a simple circuit. Okay? So we have here the example, no? So find the transfer function. So transfer function relating to the Capacitor voltage so that will be VC of S to the input. Okay, so why did I write the input with the space? Huh? So that will be input. Input voltage. V of S for the as shown in the circuit below. Okay, so we just have here our circuit. Huh? So we have here our our circuit. So this will be our source plus minus. No, so that will be V of T. Okay, then we have here the inductance the resistance and the capacitance okay so this will be l r this will be c and we will have here our current so maybe we will have our current in another color it will be red no okay so this will be i of t okay. so the question is or the problem is we need to get the transfer function Relating to the capacitor voltage to the input voltage. So when you say relating to the capacitor voltage, so we need to get 
the transfer function v c of s all over v of s so that is the transfer function that we are going to get okay so of course we will be using now no so we have our solution solution okay so we need to use no using um tcl no so or uh, no not tcl but kvl sorry for that one kvl or the kirchhoff's voltage low so how we are going to do that so the uh with regards to the kvl or the kirchhoff's voltage low the sum of the voltage drop is equal to the source no so or the total of the voltage drop is equal to the source so we could have that one our source as v of t is equal to all of our voltage drop so that will be l i of t plus huh? plus r i of t plus c i of t okay so we could have that one so because we know that just by multiplying any uh, the resistance with our current we could get a voltage or a vo or a potential or voltage or a, if you have an inductor so times the current we could also say that that is a voltage and a capacitance times a current so that will be a voltage but let's check with our table because these three quantities here these three expressions here must be equal to voltage because we are using kvl and we are equating in terms of the voltage source so going back so voltage current relationship so for the inductor in order for us to get the voltage so we need to have the capacitance or the inductance multiplied by the first derivative of our current no? so for this one okay, that one so for this one we need to change that one into from the table no? that we have made earlier so this will be the d i of t over dt okay for resistance now our resistor so the voltage is vtr of t so that is correct for the uh, capacitance no or the capacitor so it's like ci of t now the voltage is this one the integral or the one over c times the integral of i tau d d tau will limits from one to zero so we need to change this one okay so we need to change this one into 1 over C integral of I tau D uh, tau we limits from 1 to uh, from 0 to 1 okay now if we could see here we have a differential we have a uh, expression with just a differential and an integral so we could not um, apply Laplace transform in this instance or we could apply but the the circuit or the solution itself might be troublesome no so is there any way for us to have all our um, expression here um, of the same um, uh, or being the same uh, type of expression if they are all made up of differentials or different derivatives so can we do that no so if we will try to have this one all in terms of a differential or a derivative no? so each of them will contain a derivative so we will look into charge now we will convert our current into charge so going going back to our table so we just write first here so we need to find an uh, equation or a formula in which we could relate our inductance into um, a we could multiply our inductance into a charge and the answer will be voltage no so that will be voltage to charge so for inductance that will be l second derivative of our charge in terms of time so we just do that here no Going back so that will be l the second derivative of our charge in terms of time plus for our resistance now of course we know that uh, current is the first derivative no of our charge it's very easy or we could just check no it will be R D Q over D T. Okay. Then for the capacitance, so we will be looking here. Okay. Where is that? Where's the table? 
Okay, the table. So this that will be one over c q of t. Okay. So this will be one over c q of t. Okay. So as of now we have here in terms of derivative and a function itself. So we could now apply no automatically our um, Laplace transform no for this one. So getting the Laplace transform for each side no each side. So that will be, we will have here. Okay, we will have here v of s. So capital v of s. So the first one will be l, no? l times s squared. Um, s squared. This will be um, this will be q of s, no? Q of s minus s q prime of zero minus q double prime of zero, then plus okay, it's, it's plus okay, plus r d q so r times s q of s minus q of zero. Then plus for our um, capacitance, so that will be one over a c q of s, no q of s. And this will now be equal to this one, no? So we could have that one as. V of S is equal to, so assuming initial conditions because of zero, so this will be zero, 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 and zero. So we will have L S squared, okay, Q of S plus R S Q of S plus one over C, no? Q of S. I believe this is not equal to zero, no? Because our, this is not part of our initial condition. So this just will be equal to q of s okay okay now what we are going to do is to um, get a transfer function no? so our transfer function must be uh, in terms of the um, charge no? so we could have that one as a q of s over v of s is equal to so 1 all over L S squared plus R S plus C. Okay, so that will be our transfer function. No. Okay, so that will be our transfer function. But if we could look at this one, so if we're going back to our problem, so we need our transfer function in terms of the capacitor voltage now we have here in terms of charge so how we are going to do that in terms of the capacitor voltage if we are going to go back to this equation here so this one no? this one maybe if we could have this one here no? this one this is in terms of charge so if we can find a way that our charge will be in terms of the capacitor voltage no capacitor voltage so we could now change this charge into capacitor voltage so how we are going to do that no so we know that the voltage no? or the capacitor voltage is equal to going back to our table so this will be equal to 1 over C then multiplied by the charge no multiplied by the charge so if we are going to solve for the charge so q of t will be equal to c times the capacitor voltage so we will just substitute this one substitute to the uh, to our to the um, differential equation no differential equation to this differential equation so knowing that our q of t will be equal to vc of d but we will have here the capacitance so our 
equation will become v of t is equal to lc d squared q of t over dt. So this is this will now be uh, this this is just uh, this is not that one. So this will be in terms of the capacitor voltage. Now because we have already have our capacitance here, so this is v c of t. Then plus r this will be dq of t so that is that is rc d d why am i always thinking of the charge no? so this will be d vc of t all over d t no? so this will be second derivative also plus 1 over c times our capacitance times d uh, uh, because this will be uh, that will be Q of T no? so we have this one here Q of T 1 C times V C of T no? so this will be equal to V C of T okay so now we could consider this one we will get the Laplace transform so this will be equal to V of S is equal to L C then this will be S squared Q of S minus s q prime of 0 minus q double prime of 0 uh, plus rc then we have s q of s minus q prime of 0 then plus so going back this will be cancelled out so we will just have that one in terms of v c of s so of course i now thinking again charge Going back to our equation, this is in terms of capacitor voltage. We just have that one in terms of capacitor voltage. No? So I am always thinking of the charge. No? Okay, so this will be this will be equal to Vc of S, Vz of zero prime, Vc double prime of zero no this will be also v c of s then minus v c prime of zero so this will just be equal to zero here so assuming zero initial condition so we'll have v of s is equal to l c s squared v c of s plus r c then r c this will be S, no? Uh, maybe we should not write the bracket, no? Because this one is zero already. No? So this will be equal to S, VC of S plus VC of S. Factoring out our VC of S. So VC of S. So we'll be, we will have here LC S squared plus RCS plus 1. Okay, so that will be now our um, Laplace transform for both sides of the equation, no? Okay, so now getting our transfer function. So we will have this one as um, Vc of s over v of s is equal to 1 over we should write clearly our over here okay. 1 over l c s squared plus r c s plus 1 So this will be now our transfer function no? and we could write here the uh, simple block diagram for our transfer function no? so we will have this one as v of s so we will have that one in another color blue so we have here v of s so this will be our input then you have we will have here our transfer function no? that this will be one over 
LCS squared plus RCS plus 1. Then we have here our output which is uh, V C of S. Okay. So I hope you learned something in this video about uh, elect electrical network transfer function. No? So thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning.